So currently in the Northern Virginia housing market, we have all time record high prices, interest rates that are more than double compared to January of 2022. And all the quote unquote experts are saying that we are in a housing market bubble and that a real estate crash or at the very least, a market correction is coming in 2023. Yet, so far this year, most homes are selling the first weekend with many of them getting multiple offers and selling for above asking price. So why hasn't the Northern Virginia housing market crashed yet? We're about to find out because we're getting started right now. Hey everybody, it's David, your favorite realtor, and welcome back to another video. So in June of 2022, something happened. The hottest real estate market in history finally started to cool down, and the number one reason was interest rates more than doubled from 3% in early 2022 to as high as 6.5% in June of 2022. I remember so vividly last year when the rate hit about 6%, the third and fourth quarter real estate market here in Northern Virginia completely slowed down. Buyer demand was dropping every single day. So homes now, they're starting to sit on the market 30, 40, 60 days. And the buyers that were out there, they're able to get fantastic deals, maybe get closing costs paid for, negotiate 10, 15, $20,000 off the asking price. So during this time last year, if you're watching the news or reading articles or watching YouTube channels about the housing market, every single expert was calling for a market crash or at the very least a market correction. Now I personally didn't believe a market crash was coming this year, but I did believe there would be a very slight correction. My prediction for this year was home values would drop anywhere from one to 5%. And for the purposes of this video, we're focusing on home values, not the actual number of transactions. So what is the actual definition of a housing market crash? Well, according to Forbes, the definition is home values dropping by at least 20%. So what am I seeing in the Northern Virginia housing market so far in 2023 being boots on the ground? This I can say, in almost a decade of selling real estate in Northern Virginia, this is hands down the weirdest real estate market I have ever seen. It's almost like a very watered down version of the crazy 2021 housing market. So let me go back to January of this year. Right after the holidays, one thing I started to notice was a lot of homes that were not selling from November and December of last year, all of a sudden started going under contract. Even myself, I had a couple listings that I literally could not give away in November and December of last year. And all of a sudden, they go into contract the first week of the year. And then as January is going on, I noticed any new listing that was hitting the market was selling the first weekend. I was like, all right, activity is starting to pick up. End of January, I go to an open house with my clients. In this open house, you would have thought they were giving away this house for free. It was so many people. There's literally a line to get in. Now fast forward to now, I'm filming this in the middle of April, right in the middle of the spring market. Basically, every single house is selling the first weekend, and a lot of them are getting multiple offers and selling for way above asking price. In fact, last weekend, I showed about 13 homes between Fairfax and Loudoun County, and all those 13 homes, all 13 went under contract the first weekend, and 11 of the 13 ended up getting multiple offers. In fact, on one of those homes, my client submitted an offer. It was a beautiful single family in Chantilly, and my clients offered $60,000 above asking price, no home inspection or appraisal contingencies, putting as high as 50% down, and our offer came in sixth place out of 11 offers. And the listing agent told me that they ended up getting five offers for $75,000 above asking price. So if you're a seller in this market, it's great for you. Literally, you just have to have four walls and a roof and your house is gonna sell first weekend and probably get multiple offers, but it is extremely challenging for buyers right now. So when I say it's a weird market, let me explain. The actual number of transactions happening are actually less compared to this time last year. In fact, there are 33% less homes are selling this year compared to last year. However, home values are up. So the average sales price of a home in Fairfax and Loudoun County in November and December of last year was $727,000. Now, if I look in the past 30 days, now that number is $777,000. So home values now are up 6.8% compared to November and December of last year. So home value is up almost 7% compared to December. We are definitely far away from a market crash. So home prices and affordability are at all time highs right now. Interest rates are more than double compared to what they were in January of 2022. We are potentially going into a recession. We're still fighting inflation. Layoffs are on the rise and are expected to continue. Yet the Northern Virginia housing market is not crashing. In fact, it is the opposite. Home values are going up. 
So why is the Northern Virginia housing market not crashing? Now, the first reason is gonna be simple supply and demand. So yes, transactions are down, number of listings are down, even buyer demand is down. However, the ratios are the same. There's still way more buyers compared to sellers right now. So what appears to be a housing market bubble really is just the works of simple supply and demand. And later on in this video, we're gonna dive into why the active inventory is so low right now. So in almost a decade of selling real estate in Northern Virginia, this is hands down the least amount of homes for sale I've ever, ever seen. In fact, year to date, new listings to hit the market are down 12.5% compared to this time last year. And if we go back to 2019, the last quote unquote regular real estate market before the pandemic changed everything, new listings to hit the market are down 25% compared to 2019. So we really need an influx of inventory just to get a balanced market, much less a market crash or a correction. Now the next reason why the Northern Virginia housing market has not crashed yet, and this is probably the biggest separator between Northern Virginia and other parts of the country is, Northern Virginia is one of the most educated and affluent areas in the whole country. There is a lot of wealth and high income careers right here in Northern Virginia. And in fact, Northern Virginia has two of the richest counties in the US in terms of medium household income with Fairfax and Loudoun County. So what that means is there's a lot of buyers with disposable income and they can easily go 25, 50, 75, $100,000 above asking price for a home that they really want. Which is why I believe if there was like a national housing market correction or crash, I don't think it would affect Northern Virginia as much as it would like maybe a blue collar town in North Dakota, for example. So yes, the amount of money and wealth here in Northern Virginia is one of the top reasons why the market has not crashed yet. Now the next reason why the market has not crashed yet here in Northern Virginia is no influx of distressed properties. And when I say distressed properties, I'm talking about short sales and bank owned properties. So I looked it up right before shooting this video. There's over 2000 homes for sale currently in Northern Virginia. And that's with the four major counties with Prince William, Arlington, Loudoun and Fairfax County. And of those 2000 active listings, only four active listings on the market right now are either a short sale or a bank owned property. So the stress properties here in Northern Virginia are basically non-existent. And I'll piggyback in the last reason why the market hasn't crashed yet with all the wealth in this area. So most home buyers can easily afford their monthly payment. And if for some reason a homeowner finds himself in financial hardship and has fallen behind on their mortgage payment. So since most homeowners have a lot of equity, instead of hitting the market as either a short sale or falling into foreclosure, they will just hit the market as a traditional home seller. So I personally do not see an influx of distressed properties hitting the market here in Northern Virginia. But even if that number, let's say 10x, that will give you 40 distressed properties out of 2000 listings, it still will be less than 2% of the active homes for sale. Now, the next reason why the housing market has not crashed yet here in Northern Virginia is higher mortgage interest rates. And this is hands down probably the most unexpected outcome of the 2022 rate hikes. You know what's wild? Two of the biggest events that easily could have crashed the real estate market actually had the opposite effect. It caused home values to shoot up through the roof. That's A, the pandemic, and B, mortgage interest rates more than doubling from all time record lows. So six and a half and 7% interest rates have hands down killed the active inventory. Let me explain. A lot of homeowners who've owned their home for one, two, three, five plus years, a lot of them have interest rates, two and a half, three, three and a half, even 4%. So if you're a potential home seller, yes, you're going to sell your home. It's going to be awesome. But most likely you're going to turn around and have to become a buyer in this market. So you're going to have to compete for the very limited amount of homes for sale. And you're paying all time record high prices. You're going to leave your 3% mortgage rate and now pay six and a half or 7% rate. And you can literally buy the exact same house. You may pay 500, 800, even a thousand dollars more per month. It literally makes no sense to sell your home right now and buy another one. So now so many home sellers are sitting on the sidelines and I do not blame them at all. Really the only sellers hitting the market right now is if they have to sell. Let's say they're moving out of state or maybe the house is just not sufficient enough for their needs right now. So higher mortgage interest rates is the number one reason why the inventory levels are so low right now in Northern Virginia and why the majority of homes hitting the market right now are selling the first weekend with multiple offers. So I personally do not see a crash happening this year or even next year or the year after as well. And for a market crash to happen, some sort of event has to happen, which will cause an influx of inventory to hit the market. And at the same time, buyer demand to be drastically reduced. And we haven't seen an event like that since the great recession of 2008. 
So should you even consider buying a home in 2023? Well, only you can answer that. But I always tell my clients, if you're thinking about buying, you have to check all three of these boxes. First box is you're in a strong financial position. You have great credit. You can easily comfortably afford the down payment and the monthly mortgage payment. Second box you want to check is you have a very strong need slash motivation. Let's say you're relocating here from another part of the country, or right now you live in a little two bedroom condo and you have a family of four, you just need a bigger house. That means you have a strong need for a new home. And last but not least, you plan to stay in this home for at least five plus years. Because if you're thinking about buying the house and selling it next year, you're probably gonna lose in that scenario. But if you're gonna stay in the home at least five years, you will win 100% of the time. So yes, this is a very weird real estate market we are currently in right now in Northern Virginia. And if you want to talk more about your specific situation and needs, you know, reach out to me, give me a call, shoot me a text, send me an email. I'd love to help you out. And if you want to learn more about living right here in Northern Virginia, check out these videos right here. And I'll see you on the next video.